Hi everyone. Uh, so for today's class, I'm going to be doing an introductory activity for sixth grade health students. Um, this activity is just a short three minute activity that's going to lead into a more in depth activity about uh, always living above the line and being aware of your surroundings, learn how to say no and different things like that. So this activity comes from the draw your line book that's used by health uh, teachers in their classrooms. So as you can tell, I don't have any of my athletes here to be my pretend students today because they have finals this week and I don't have a classroom, so I'm using a home projector to improvise with uh, today's activity. So uh, I hope you guys all enjoy it. Um, I think it's a good, quick little activity to get everyone thinking. All right, so here we go. All right, good morning, class. Um, so today, I want you guys to think about this Spanish word. All right, dicho. Please read to yourself and then take out a piece of paper so I know you're all finished and we'll go from there. Sorry, one sec. All right, so is everyone ready? Yeah, okay. So dicho, if the shrimp falls asleep, the current will carry it away. Now I want you to write down in your own words what you think this means, what this saying means to you as a person. All right, go ahead and take your time. All right, is everyone finished? All right, if you guys would please take out, if you guys would please share with me your own thoughts and words about what you think this saying means. Yeah, go ahead, Tyler. That's awesome, that's right on track. Cody? Great job, I like that one, that's a good one. All right, yeah, you guys all shared great ideas and I like your different sayings about what you think it means. So dicho, this is what it means. So if you're not paying attention, you may get it caught up in the things happening around you before you realize it. And some of those things may be bad, all right? So dicho is not, you're not aware of your surroundings. Okay, and when you're not aware of your surroundings, you could be getting yourself into situations that are not good and not healthy for you as a person. So what Dicho means is we always need to be aware of our surroundings so then that way we're not able to get carried away with the current. All right, yep, so now this will lead into our activity we're doing now. That's a nice brief little short introductory activity that they use in a health classroom. Again, that's from the Draw the Line Respect the Line book used by health teachers. Thank you everyone for watching.